It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. It's a small, small world. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. It has been a little while, but today I have another Disney planning video for you guys. And this one has been in the works for months since January. <laughs> We went on our big Disney World trip in January, a few days after New Year's, and we used the Disney Dining Plan. But we did not use just the quick service or the standard Disney Dining Plan. We used the Deluxe Disney Dining Plan. And it's not super often that people use the Deluxe Disney Dining Plan. It is the priciest and it is a lot of food. So real quick before we get into everything that we did, I will just give you guys a quick rundown of the pricing. I did make a whole Disney Dining Plan 101 video that I will leave linked up here for you guys if you are unfamiliar with the Dining Plan. So the Deluxe Disney Dining Plan cost for 2019 for adults is $116.25 per adult per night. And for children, it is $43.49 per child per night. And again, this goes off per night. It's a nightly thing. So if you're staying eight nights, nine days, you're only going to get credits for those eight nights. Now... Any dining plan that you use, if you use your credits wisely, you will not have to pay out of pocket for any snack, any meal, anything. Even if you're going to be there for nine full days and only have those eight nights worth of credits. So with that pricing said, the total deluxe dining plan cost for our trip, we stayed eight nights, nine days, um, in January of this year was $2,207.92. That's that's a lot of food that is a lot of money on food and let me just tell you guys here at home i think we only spend like two to three hundred dollars a month on food so for a little over a week that's a lot of money so with that two thousand two hundred seven dollars in mind i'm gonna kind of break down what we ate every day what restaurants and how many credits we kind of spent every day just so that you guys can get an idea before i tell you just how much um we saved so when I go to Disney World, I like to write down all of our plans for each day on little cards, just so if for whatever reason my phone dies, which has never happened, or I don't wanna keep like pulling out my phone, I can just have the cards in my hand, you know, whatever. I always like to have a hard copy of everything. So we arrived Sunday, January 6th, and we got there probably about 10 or so, and I had made reservations for us to go and eat at Chef Art Smith's Homecoming Restaurant. We had never been there before, so I figured we would try it out. So that was a table service credit for each of us. So three table service credits right there. And then for dinner, we ate at Ohana at the Polynesian Village Resort. So again, that's one table service credit for each of us, three total. So that day, our arrival day, we spent six dining plan credits. Now the deluxe dining plan is three table service or quick service, it's kind of mix and match, credits per person per night. So we had 72 credits to use up during that eight night, nine day stay there. So we spent six credits the first day. Um, the itinerary for Monday, January 7th was, we were just gonna eat breakfast at the hotel. Um, I had reservations for the 50s Primetime Cafe in Hollywood Studios, and then we were going to have um, like a dinner or something at Magic Kingdom since we did the after hours that night. So for that day, that was nine dining plan credits. Again, we were staying at the Caribbean Beach Resort, and let me just tell you guys, they have amazing, amazing food there. Um, if you haven't stayed there or you're thinking about it, definitely do it. The pirate room is amazing. The food, amazing. Spyglass Grill, which was closest to our area, had amazing food. So Tuesday, January 8th, we ate at Cinderella's Royal Table. And Cinderella's Royal Table is two table service credits per person. So that was already six. And I had plans to either get lunch at Magic Kingdom or at the hotel. And we did end up eating lunch at the hotel. And then we had dinner at Tony's Town Square Tavern, a table service restaurant. 
So you guys will kind of see that we did have a few quick service restaurants in there, but we had a ton of table service. It was like one to two table service restaurants per day because we were just wanting to try out um, new restaurants, a lot of new food, um, some of the pricier options because we had this deluxe dining plan. So Wednesday, January 9th, breakfast at the hotel. Um, we did the Yorkshire County Fish Shop, Teppan Edo for dinner. Thursday, January 10th, we had Tusker House, which is a character dining experience. One table service credit per person. We had Yak and Yeti Restaurant for dinner. And then we had kind of like a second, because dinner was at about 4.30, which is really early for us. So we had kind of like a late dinner at Spyglass Grill, second dinner. <laughs> Anybody out there do that? Um, Friday, January 11th, we had breakfast at the hotel. We ate lunch at Woody's Lunchbox. That was our first time. It was amazing. And then we had Mama Melrose's Italian restaurant for dinner, a table service. Saturday, January 12th, breakfast at the hotel. We ate lunch at Via Napoli, table service. And dinner at um, Le Chef's de France, which was another table service. So two table service restaurants that day. Sunday, January 13th, breakfast at the hotel. Um, we got lunch at Casey's Corner and then we had dinner at Beer Guest Restaurant, another two table service credit restaurant per person. And then our last day we ate breakfast at the hotel and then we had dinner at Centertown Market and it was really an early dinner. It was probably like a, a dinner, a lunch and dinner. <laughs> So that was really our itinerary. There were some days where I was pretty full. So we had like kind of the extra credits that we used on our last day. Because again, it is a lot of food, but it was really nice to have that flexibility to be able to say, hey, I'm not really hungry during this meal, but we kind of banked those credits and we were able to use them our very last day and not have to pay anything out of pocket for food, which was really nice. So with the deluxe dining plan, as with the other dining plans, you do get a refillable mug per person. So, so we came out with three refillable mugs um, and then plus, you know, two of those snack credits each day per person. So it was so, so much food and we were even able to use some of our snack credits on that very last day to buy some little snacks from the like kind of quick quick um, like grab place from Centertown Market and take with us to the airport um, to kind of like munch on on the plane. So that was really nice. So with all of that said, again, our total deluxe dining plan cost for this trip was $2,207 and some change. And if we had not used the deluxe Disney dining plan, we would have spent about $2,350 out of pocket. So we saved about $150, which I know it may not sound like a lot considering the cost of the dining plan, but just a couple of things to add to kind of give you guys a little bit of perspective. The dining plans do include one alcoholic drink per person per meal where offered, um, but we do not drink. But if we did, we would have definitely gone way over that $2,350 mark. So if anybody out there does drink, you would have definitely saved you know so much more money than we did so that's just kind of something to add in there we did eat at a lot of sit-down restaurants um i'm surprised that we did not gain any weight on this trip like it was a miracle but we had two two table service credit restaurants so two signature dining experiences cinderella's royal table and be our guest restaurant i definitely wanted my husband to experience those two and also Eliana because they're great, you know, for kids to experience as well. So again, two signature dining restaurants. We had, you know, another character meal in there, lots of table service, some new places we hadn't tried, but we didn't always get, you know, the steak and, you know, seafood and that kind of thing. It would have bumped up the price. So we did save a little bit of money using the Disney Deluxe Dining Plan and it just gave us so much flexibility to choose how we spent our credits, whether it was table service or quick service. Whereas with the standard you know, dining plan, you only get one quick service and one table service. And if you're wanting to try out those signature restaurants or more table service restaurants, you kind of don't have the freedom um, to do you know, multiple in one day or whatever the case may be. So I definitely really enjoyed the flexibility and I will be using the Disney Deluxe Dining Plan on a future Disney World trip. It just takes the guesswork out of 
planning and you know paying for meals now I will say that gratuity is not included except at Cinderella's Royal Table it is included there um, so that's just another thing to keep in mind but definitely I would recommend the deluxe Disney dining plan for those who are wanting to try out you know, like I said, a lot of those sit-down restaurants, maybe that you haven't been to or ones that you really love or signature dining restaurants. I've mentioned before that I love the Disney Dining Plan and I'm so happy that we had the opportunity to try out the Deluxe Disney Dining Plan. Stay tuned because I do have another Disney planning video coming out next Friday for you guys. It is all about, I did not use the Disney dining plan, but did I save money? So that one is coming out next Friday for you guys. So if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So as soon as that video drops, you guys will be notified. That is it for this video. I'm so happy to finally have shared this video with you guys. That is our experience with the Disney Deluxe Dining Plan. Let me know down below if any of y'all have used the Deluxe Dining Plan, um, if you've saved money using it, or if you just enjoy it for the convenience of not having to worry about, you know, paying for each meal or, you know, wondering if you had the money. I do like that it's prepaid. That is one of the reasons why I love the dining plan. So let me know down below, you guys. I love to chat with you down in the comments. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching. I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.